Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe how the temperature of a gas is related to the energy of the particles. You should then be able to describe how changing the temperature of a gas changes the pressure. Now, this is a pretty easy topic, so it's a relatively short video. We've already looked at gases in previous videos. Remember that particles in a gas are very far apart and they're in constant random motion. Now, in this video, we're looking at the pressure of gases. The pressure of a gas is due to the particles colliding with the walls of the container that the gas is held in. I'm showing you here a gas held inside a container. By colliding with the walls of the container, the gas particles are exerting a pressure. Now, we can increase the pressure if we increase the number of collisions per second or if we increase the energy of each collision. And one way to do that is to increase the temperature of the gas. I'm showing you here two containers containing gases at different temperatures. Now the first key idea you have to get is that the temperature of a gas is related to the average kinetic energy of the particles. At low temperatures, particles have got lower kinetic energy. This means there are fewer collisions per second and these are lower energy collisions. This means that at lower temperatures, the gas pressure is relatively low. At high temperatures, particles have got higher kinetic energy. This means there are more collisions per second, and these are higher energy collisions. So at high temperatures, the gas pressure is relatively high. Remember that you'll find plenty of questions on the pressure of gases in my vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Okay, so hopefully now you should be able to describe how the temperature of a gas is related to the energy of the particles. You should then be able to describe how changing the temperature of a gas changes the pressure. 